Hey, I'm Leroy Price. I'm uh, doing a little research here, writing a book on knife mechanisms and um, trying to get a handle on this uh, DAOTF, which is a um, knockoff of the Microtech. This is kind of the standard one. This has the inlay here, kind of a rough surface, looks like sandpaper. And uh, this one is kind of junky, but not necessarily uh, such a bad unit when you compare it to this smooth one. This was kind of fraught with more problems. And I'm kind of getting very frustrated with this thing, and I thought I'd make a video on my uh, experiment process here. That's uh, a big kick out of uh, Back to the Future 3 where they're getting the train to uh, push the DeLorean up to 80 some miles an hour and the guy says, is this a hold up? And he says, no, it's a scientific experiment. So this is kind of the same thing. It's kind of half a, half a comedy. Uh, but we're going to do the best I can. I am trying to figure out what's going on here. So I milled a hole in this thing so I could activate the uh, spring catch plate with the screwdriver. This slide button keeps falling off. Uh, not really set right. I got the thing put together. But here's a spring catch plate from uh, this knife. Uh, this is square. I took some 400 grit sandpaper and tried smoothing up this uh, elongated one, you know, kind of like this here. And uh, that didn't seem to help. So I'm going to try and uh, go through the thought process. Uh, see, why, see why this bugger ain't working. This is the inside of the knife. This has got this sort of uh, rectangular uh, spring catch, which is the uh, same operation as the, uh, the square one. Uh, this uh, blade uh, pin is a little bit different. It's, it's, it kind of looks like a, a rivet. It's got a hole in it, but the idea is the same. And this comes up and it, it catches and then when you release it, it it'll come back. So the dilemma is that this slide carriage, I mess around with it and maybe you can appreciate it's got a dig in it right here from me pushing so hard. And uh, this this thing will not release the the ramp won't come out and release the spring catch in the open position when this thing has pressure on it. So I've been trying to figure out what the problem is. Maybe you can see it will come up and this will lock. Yeah, well. Try that again. A little hard to seat this one. It's, yeah, okay. Looks good. This will come up and pull out a little lock. Alright, here it is on the flat. And I can't even get it to do it with the, uh, the uh, left handle off. But it's on the flat and if I push the spring plate up, it flies back. Proves it was under tension and it proves this little thing works. So, the dilemma is, how come this ramp here will not cause the uh, plate of the uh, spring catch to disengage? Uh, well, while I got the plate out, might as well show you, uh, I took this and started cleaning it up here. I'll do the other side too here. I don't know. Try this with. So I tried to get the uh, sharp edge and polish this up a little bit. Then this uh, side of the blade here that the uh, spring catches on 
I think it would help if it was in a little bit more of an angle. This, uh, if this was sloped down a little bit, but that's the way it was. So I just tried to take a little of this 400 grit. And Polish it up a little. Okay, so that's the spring catch. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm putting this sucker in backwards. Ain't no wonder it don't work. Alright, well anyway, that's where it goes. Alright, you can see when it's working right, the ramp will just move that uh, pivot plate, the spring catch plate up and that in turn on the level of the blade channel is going to, going to release the blade which is sit, sitting right here and um, what, I, what I wanted to show you was that this has got a lot of slop in it here this, this thing has got way too much slop I think to and I think that's what a problem is and you gotta have some free play in here so this thing will slide but I think this could be the culprit of why this thing uh, jams up another, another thing is this button slides off this uh, trigger post. It's only got this little notch here and it'll slide off of that little notch. You see it this way. You see it's got a notch on both sides because it's, it's symmetric. You put it in either way but it's got this little notch right here and it slides off that so I think I'm going to do is I'm going to mill off this lip here so I can get get a metal object or something on there to to do it it won't slop off uh, slip off and uh, we well, do the experiment that way and by the way these these this uh, conventional one here has a uh, blade with a hole in it this one uh, has a solid and why that has a hole in it I don't know wait I don't know okay got it all put together Lost a screw. This is why you should not take knives apart. You'll lose, you'll lose parts. They'll never work again. Another, another example. But this is a, this is for science. Okay, here's the trigger post here, and you can see it is on the button. Okay, that's it back as far as it'll go on the button. The uh, the blade is not extended all the way, so the plate of the spring catch is horizontal. You can see that there's a horizontal position of the of the plate and the slide carriage is functional. Now I'm going to pull the blade out and lock it. Okay and now you can see that if we want this thing to function manually without much tension on there I'm going to pull this thing Okay. Alright, hope you appreciated that. I'll do that again. Okay, it's under tension. I'm going to do it manually. Okay, now pull it out. Now, now we're going to use a spring. Uh, use a, uh, a slide trigger, slide, slide button and it slipped off okay it's slipping against the thing so nothing happened because it slipped off okay and now uh, if I unlatch 
the blade. I put the, uh, oh, okay, it did grab. Before it wasn't grabbing. The first time it did, it slipped back on again, but useless, useless, useless. Okay, I slide it back and it just slipped off. Nothing happened. So, we know you got an alignment problem right there. Alright, we're gonna, what I want to do is go on. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go out to shop and mill out this part right here so I could get this end of the file on and pull the hell out of it and see what happens. So, you know, right now you're looking in, into the heart of the knife. Well, let's say you're looking into the womb of the knife because it's a womb with a view. Uh, that may not be funny, but it's unique, and I may use that joke in the next book. So, uh, there we go. I'm out to the shop. Okay, what I did was I took this lip off of here that holds the this lip of the slide button on. And you got a lip there, and that holds that in there very nicely. So I took that lip off so I can get uh, a grip on the uh, slide carriage uh, trigger post. And uh, by the way, they, the patent calls this an actuator, but I don't like actuator, so I call it slide carriage. Um, a little more descriptive. So I took that out, and then right at the end, I. Uh, Started. I turned the machine off and started to unscrew the vise, and I thought that uh, I had my hand on the uh, vise handle. Actually, I actually had it on the uh, uh, front to back uh, knob and dug a little bit of hole in there. So that's another safety tip. Say, full of safety. Do not, do not take your work out of the uh, machine until the cutter comes a full um, stop, and then plan on what you're doing. Don't be in a hurry. But uh, that's, that's uh, taken out. So we're going to put this together and we're going to grab a hold of this thing and then we're going to see if we can uh, get a better hand on manipulating it. Okay, all five uh, screws are snug and uh, I don't want to kid anybody, including myself. You can't do this uh, with one person. Somebody's got to hold the knife and somebody else has got to grab a hold of the trigger post and move it. Uh, so I'm going to probably go out in the vise and uh, maybe I'll have somebody else uh, hold the camera. And I don't want to uh, insert any variables, so I'm not going to put the vise on the front part. I may, I might, I may put the knife in uh, from side to side, but I might just put the knife in the, in the back here where it's not going to affect uh, squeezing this thing and maybe throw everything back into proper alignment. So. We'll go out and get the vise uh, set up and I'll get a grip on the thing and we'll probably see what breaks because I really doubt that this thing's going to work. But we'll experiment. Oops, we're not ready yet. Maybe you can see there's a big gap right here. Well, this is not put together right, so I got to take it apart. Maybe that slides, but uh, yeah. well, that big gap in there is permanent. Maybe you could appreciate this uh, front part's bowed. And no matter what you do, you're going to get a gap. I don't know if the thing got bent. I don't know if I bent it, fooling around, forcing everything, or it came like that. But uh, that has got a bow to it. And that gap is permanent. Look at this end here. Okay, the back end is pretty straight. Okay, this uh, left handle is pretty thick aluminum. I don't know how I could have bent that just messing around with it. I guess anything's possible. That's pretty thick. I, some of it must have came away. But I never noticed that gap before, so it does seem new. So maybe I did. 
Uh, the blade is back pretty far. The slide carriage now uh, moves a little jerky, but no, well, that's pretty good right in that range. If I pull the blade up here, it starts to get a little bit stiff. And now this thing is really stiff. It moves, but it's stiff. Uh, let me see if I if I lock it. Well, if I lock it, it's going to be under tension. I, I don't think it's locked there. Could be. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's probably locked. Yeah. So you can see now the uh, the spring is engaged. Okay. Well, we're here. Let's give it a try. I'll try it with this. Oh my god, did you see that? It worked. <laughs> All right. Now, you'll never not, lightning never strikes twice. Yeah. See, and it goes all the way back. It goes all the way back to there. Pop. Yeah, it worked that time. Anyway, This thing is a mess. Locked up again. All right, maybe we can look in here and see if so we can see what, what's going on. Oh, there's not. It could be that this. Um, the ramp is too far over, it's not engaging. I mean, I can see the ramp there. I can look in, and I can see the ramp through this hole. So, the ramp, if I can see the ramp, it's too, it's too far to the left, so it's not engaging. So, I think the problem is that these sloppy uh, tolerances is what the problem is. I think I just proved that, because this should work. No. Why is that not engage, disengaging now? Okay, that's all the way over. That should go back now. I don't know what's holding that blade up. See, that the plate of the spring catch is all the way up. And the blade's not coming back. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's just stuck. It was stuck. The real it hits there and it hits a stop. I pull that. Now it's locked. And it should come flying back. What what happened is that this spring carriage is out of alignment. It's it's up out of its track. So it's as far as I'm concerned, it's alignment alignment issue. Uh, and this. Uh, this gap in here may have something to do with it. Right there. And if you want to know all about double action out the front mechanisms, none of it is in this book. But I'm working on it. Thanks a lot for watching and sharing my frustration. And you guys are probably saying, why did he not do it in the Retracted or closed position. Yeah, I know. Okay, so you guys are pretty demanding. Okay, let's find out. Okay. Actually, I did it once while the camera was off because <sighs> I just thought about it. Okay, blades retracted, and we're going to get a hold of the pin and push it forward. And okay, so there. It, uh, yep. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just back there. One more time, just for the fun of it. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. This thing is a mess. <laughs>